Next, I would like to show you how you can make simple menu changes. To do this, go back to your homepage and then click on the menu button directly below the sales graph. Any changes you make to your menu here will be automatically updated in real time on your online menu for your customers. In order to make changes to your menu, this is controlled by permission settings. So if there's anything I show you today that you are not able to do, please do get in touch with our customer support team on help at flipdish.com to update your permissions. The tabs at the top of the page show you different menu sections. It starts with traditional pizzas and ends with apples. If you click on them, it will directly bring you to that section to save you scrolling. So when I click on meal deals, it will bring me right to the meal deal section. Anything in a large rectangle is a menu section and the items underneath in white are individual items. Okay, so some edits you may want to make to your online menu include editing a menu item name or description. For example, if you want to change the name of the Classic Margarita version 3 pizza on my menu to Classic Margarita, I can click on the text and you can see there is now a black box around the text indicating this is in edit mode. This means it will let me edit what was previously entered. Then you simply type your update and click outside the box again to update it once you're done. You may also want to change the price of a menu item. So click on the price. Again, you'll see this has become editable as a black box has appeared around it. Simply type the new price. Here I'm going to make this $11.95 rather than $12.95. And all I have to do is click outside the box to save that change. Just to remind you, I've now changed both the name of the item and the price. Now, if we go to the online menu we were using earlier and refresh the page, you will see these changes are now live for all your customers. It's really easy for you to make menu changes yourself in real time. This is much quicker than reaching out to our support or menu teams to do it, as it may take a few days to process the change. We have designed the functionality like this as we know our customers need to make real-time changes to menu as stock and demand can change quickly. You may also want to add a new menu section or item. Scroll down to the very bottom of the page to add a whole new section. Here I'm going to add churros as a section. So I click on new section title, type churros. You can add a description if you like, but it's not mandatory and then click add section. Now you'll see I have a new menu section. It obviously wouldn't make sense to customers to have a new menu section with no menu items in it. So make sure to add menu items to it. I will now add a new menu item. Click on the downward arrow beside your section and you will see new item title. Here you can type the name of the item along with a description of the item and a price. Here I'm adding a churro and the description is served with chocolate and the price is five euro. I then click add item. Now I have a new menu item section called churros and a new menu item called churro. You can also duplicate items and sections. This is easily done. Just click on the three vertical dots to edit, choose duplicate item, and now you have a copy of that menu item. Here I'm going to rename this duplicate as vanilla churro. This is very useful if you spend a lot of time adding specific option sets like toppings or sauces, or upsells to an item. You don't need to recreate this for every item. You can just duplicate and rename the item. You can also delete items that are no longer available in your menu. Again, click on the three vertical dots to edit, then choose delete item. As this will permanently delete the item from your menu, it's going to show you a prompt to double check that it is indeed what you want to do. Are you sure you want to delete this item? This cannot be undone. If you are sure, then click OK and this item has been permanently deleted. You can also duplicate and delete whole sections using the three vertical dots beside the section name. Another thing you can do in the menu editor is hide items when they aren't available. So let's say I discovered that I don't have the ingredients for the classic margarita pizza for the next hour. I can hit the three vertical dots and then you will see a number of options to hide the item. These default times are based on feedback from customers on what they use most frequently. As you can see, there's an option to hide for one to three hours. This is useful if you don't want an item to show in the middle of a busy service. For example, maybe it's a very time intensive item to make. There's also an option to hide until tomorrow. This could be when you've run out of stock and are waiting for a delivery to come in. Hide for one week. 
This could be when you've run out of something, but you're not sure when your supplier delivery is coming in. Hide indefinitely. This is like a soft delete. This is useful where maybe you created a special menu item for a bank holiday. And obviously when the bank holiday is over, you don't want that special to show on your menu any longer. But perhaps there's more than one bank holiday in the year and the item was a big success. So you don't want to delete it and you may use it again. Then you would hide the item indefinitely rather than delete. And this way it's easily accessible for the next bank holiday. Now that I've hidden the item, you can see that the pepperoni pizza has become greyed out versus the classic margarita on the left, which is live, which has dark black text. You can still read the description of the item so that you know that the item still exists, but it's quite clear that it's been hidden. Like with temporarily closing your store, once the time period you chose elapses, the menu item will automatically show again. You don't need to come back and change anything. Let's say you want to put the pepperoni pizza back online. All you need to do is click on the three vertical dots and choose show on menu. Now you can see that the item is no longer grayed out, meaning it will be displayed on your online menu for customers to order. You can also do this for an entire menu section. So let's say you ran out of churros, meaning you have no need for a churro section. Rather than hide each individual item, I can go to the menu section and hit on the three vertical dots and choose to hide for however long I need. Another thing you may wish to do is add images to your menu. As you know, people buy food with their eyes. So this is a really important way to highlight your best sellers, new dishes, or just make your online menu more visually appealing in general. So let's add an image to an item. All I have to do is click on the three vertical dots and choose add image. Then like any software program, it will give me the option to drag in an image or choose an image from my files. We would really recommend adding images as some of our most successful customers get great results from doing this. So now I've shown you some simple menu changes that you can do yourself without having to reach out to us here at Flipdish. However, if you do have more complicated menu changes to make, you can always reach us on menu at flipdish.com. This is a complimentary service we provide, so there are no additional charges for this help. The menu team will be more than happy to make more complex changes for you.